Okay, this is my first tutorial for all you Dawn of War new modders. I hope you find it very helpful. And this tutorial I will not be talking the whole time, so you will have to read some subtitles. I am very sorry, I do not have the best camera. So please enjoy the video, and I hope you learn a lot of using Mission Editor, so I don't get any more annoying comments. Okay, so when you first open up your window, it'll look like this, uh, very blank, and you can go to Options, which is right here, Toolbar, and you click the Open, or New, and Scenario. Now, this is very simple. Um, all you have to do is hit the size, which um, I'm going to be using a size, which you should not use. Um, ignore the 256 by 256 that's actually a good one okay now set the cell size for 2m and um, now let's go to the sizes of the map now don't do 128 by 1024 it will not work okay it, it'll look like it's working but trust me it, it won't work okay and now go to mod for all new modders, may I recommend my mod. Okay, so when you first open up the map, it's going to look like this. And you might be wondering, like, what the hell am I supposed to do? Well, it's very simple of how to get rid of this annoying fog of war and the uh, very bland texture. Okay, so you see the texture and all the fog of war? Well, you can get rid of this, that by hitting Control and F. And when you zoom out, see the sky? Control K. Okay, now we're really gonna get into the modding of this. Uh, you can, there are different options at the top. Uh, I'll take a picture of, I, I'm gonna take a picture of them so you can see them more easily, but each one represents a different thing. And please notice, uh, I happen to choose this very long map, which I do not recommend using, because if you do, you know, probably your map isn't going to work, like, you'll have a base, like, when you start off, but you won't be able to build anything by it, uh, you can only build it within a certain area of the battlefield, I have no idea why that happens, it's a very annoying glitch, so if you see a terrain like this, just, you know, start over, or, you know, there's actually another way you can do it. If you already have stuff built, you can go to uh, export entities and you can like export everything on the map, but it doesn't work too well, so I recommend you just get right the first time. Okay, now we're going to do a little more um, modding. I'm going to show you how to build some of the chaos structures, which um, you can see in the pictures. Uh, we just click on those little two icons that look like a person uh, with the tree in the background. I don't know, and we go to environment and we can see all the environment things. Now these are things that you find around the map like uh, the library wall from the, you know, Space Marine Stronghold. Look, nice little Titan cannon from the Imperial Guard. Activated Titan cannon. So, there we go. And now if you click races, chaos, you have structures, and you can put structures all around the map. You have troops, look we can put some corn berserkers, raptures, and the demon prince, and you can use the arrow keys and the scroll bar to look all around at your pretty little map. Right. Okay. Now let's say, hey, I want to make something like the Imperial Guard stronghold. Oh, hit the delete, delete stuff. Uh, so you say, hey, I want to do the Imperial Guard Stronghold. Well, you just go to, um, Environment, and you'll see all the Titan stuff. You click Titan Main, but look, oh no, it is not facing in the direction that I want to be faced in. So, all you have to do is so right-click it, and pull the right click that button. Uh, yeah, right click or down, or whatever it's called, I don't know, mouse key button, or whatever you want to call it, yeah. and just spin it, and, but, okay, uh, yeah, so now we're going to start building a nice little chaos space, 
just by placing structures, you know, anyway, it really doesn't matter, because this is just a tutorial, but I know in your map you would probably want it in more precise places. Okay, now that we're still working on the base, I say we delete it. Now, to delete, you just can select, and poof, there they're gone. They're gone. <laughs> and the, air, the aura, or whatever it's called, um, is still there, but never mind. it. Now we're going to put a tiny main cannon, like the Imperial Guard Tone. Oh, now we just rotate it. Uh, I'll do that in a sec. Uh, here we go. Let's get a good spot on uh, second one. Oops. There we go, we can rotate it by holding the right clicker down. And we can spin it and stuff, but I don't know if it's set for no rotate or not, so I might not be able to rotate in the map. There we go, spin it a little more. And now, let's get it all ready. So we're going to give it, an, uh, you know, an arch, so it actually looks like the Titan Cannon. And in order to do this, you just got to click the arch and put it. But oh no, it's not where you want it. Well, we just slide over and hold shift and right click in order to raise it up. There we go. And a little big. Yeah, there we go. And there you have it. So let's raise it a little lower. You have your Titan main cannon. Now, let's give it some details by clicking the magnifying glass over a blue surface. Pretty hard to miss. And you just choose textures, you know, go around. There we go. And I think um, I'm going to give it a little fire so in a minute. Once I'm done placing this down. Hmm, let's do this. There we go. Oh no, slush. Slush is, slush is good. Uh, here we go. Put some fire down. Come on, a little more. There we go. Four some artillery from chaos and so it looks like it's under attack it's space marine artillery and there we go 